Hello, Fabulous Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2014, General Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is eclipse season. October is a big month. And especially for fire signs out there, it is truly an important month. And that, of course, includes you. The first eclipse happens in the first part of the month. And it happens in fellow fire sign Aries. But this particular eclipse is happening with Uranus in the sky. Now, you cannot speak about this eclipse without talking about the fact that it will be a part of and it will be activating what I mentioned last month, which is the grand trine in fire. So there's a grand trine taking place between Uranus, Jupiter in your sign, and Mars in fellow fire sign Sagittarius. And these planets will be together in supreme harmony and you add to this the element that there is an eclipse intimately involved in this. And it does suggest a time of breakthroughs for you on all fronts, an understanding of what has served its karmic purpose and feeling empowered by that and feeling a sense of positive energy, of forward momentum as a result. In particular, the closures have to do with, you know, I got to say, I look at this and it it's an eclipse happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with um, long distance places and travel. It has to do with um, uh, higher education as well. Okay. It has to do with philosophies. It has to do with... Um, entertaining ideas and exploring ideas and places that previously had been unknown to you. It has to do with understanding how beliefs shape perceptions. And it is in these very areas that you are going to experience some important closures that energize you to move forward with your life. So some of you, of course, very clearly, as it said, some of you will experience these closures having to do with school. So if you've been pursuing a higher education or you've been in a process of higher education, this is a time where you start to understand what path you've been on and how to adjust course to get you where you really want to go. For some, this is actually going to mean taking a break from school. For others, this is going to mean changing your major. Um, matters like that. For some, it is going to be understanding that you've been sort of pursuing um, a line of thinking that doesn't really resonate with who you are anymore. And so if you are one of those people who've been using Uranus moving through this part of the sky well, um, chances are you've been exposed to a new philosophical worldview and you've entertained it for a while and now you say, oh wow, okay, that's not really what I'm going for anymore. It's part of your process, a part of your evolution. Others of you are going to experience this in terms of location. So on the one hand, if you have had a long-standing immigration issue or citizenship issue, this is a time when finally you feel like I can exhale because it's done. <laughs> and so this could be a time when you receive some good news that empowers you and that makes you feel like whatever the process was that you had to go through is now over. Or it is a time when you realize that where it is that you have been or where it is that you thought you wanted to be, you no longer want to be. So that's a very real possibility for you as well. It's almost as if once the legalities, and because this part of the sky also has to do with legal issues, once legalities are resolved, you expense a new, you, you experience a newfound freedom as a result. And so legalities having to do with international issues, yes, but also any other court cases or legal matters that have been there as well, this is a time when some positive closures can take place on that front. So these are all very literal manifestations of this energy. There are other more um, sort of emotional or metaphysical understandings of this energy, and it really has to do with understanding as I said, the, the worldview that you hold, understanding how your perception has shaped your reality and deciding that you're going to have different values guide your, li guide your life. So this is you realizing why it is that you chose a way of seeing the world and saying to yourself, wow, okay, that isn't who I want to be. It has led to these outcomes. These are outcomes I no longer want and being empowered by that as a result. This also has to do with the vision that you have for your life and the things you do 
to put things into place that you hope will manifest more fully at a later date. So when I think of this, for one example, you go to school because you think you'll get the credential that you need to fully self-actualize in your career. Now, I know that's a more ideal way of looking at that path, but that is what this part of the sky represents, higher education, as putting the things together so that in your career, you can fully um, uh, fully contribute, you can fully realize what it is that you desire to do in the world. And so all of this comes together for you now, all of these understandings come together for you as you start to realize that maybe there was a vision or something that you thought you were putting into place, isn't really it. There's something bigger, there's something bolder, there's something better for you. And now you understand it and you're energized by it as well. Jupiter is moving through your sign. And as I spoke of in the Jupiter special, this is all about you really tapping into what it is that you truly want to do, what it is that's going to make you happy, trusting it and going with it. This month represents a very important part of the process with this eclipse that's taking place in the early part of the month. In the later part of the month, the eclipse has to do with home and what's happening on the home front. And it is a solar eclipse happening right with Venus. And it does suggest a new start where it comes to matters of home. And so this could be you uh, deciding that you want to move, like literally could just come out of nowhere. I want to move. This could be you seeing a house that you go, wow, I want that house. Now, keep in mind, Mercury is retrograde. And even though at that point, Mercury will station direct, not in the same part of the sky, it Mercury is sort of swimming back and forth between the part of the sky that has to do with home for you and the part of the sky that has to do with agreements and contracts. So when I see this, it does suggest to me that it's not necessarily the best time to agree to anything, to sign anything, especially on a Mercury station. You really don't want to do that. Um, however, if you just wait a little bit, once we get to mid, um, mid-November, you'll be free and clear of this mercurial energy at that, the changeable energy that might be there. And that'll also give you a better understanding of just what you're going for and what you're getting yourself into as well. Ultimately, it is about feeling more at home in the world and with yourself. And you are making progress on those fronts where you come to understand that where you are, whether it's in a broad perspective, like around the world, like in an overseas location, or whether it is actually home that you understand as your roots being from, regardless, you are coming to understand your place in the world and in your home differently and are bound to experience changes that you like very much.